Okay, you read the title, you saw the thumbnail. We are gonna be talking about some more advanced resampling tips and tricks, workflow stuff. Are you excited, Mr. Mako? He's very, very excited. Get off of me. I gotta do the video. I gotta do the video, get off of me. Okay. okay, so we're back at it again with the breaks. And today we've got a collection of the Think Breaks from the Ed Solo collection. And they're very nice, I like them a lot. But you'll notice that they are doubles ups. They are like four bar loops and they're kind of long. And if we wanted to really get granular with slicing them up and doing some really fun stuff with them, you can see that we need to kind of get to this point where it's, you know, pretty, uh, like there's a lot of slices in there. And you'll also notice that they are not perfect loops. So it gets a little bit wacky when we go in to slice them. But thankfully, we can fix this, right? They're also not at the tempo we want to work at. We want to work fast, at a fast tempo, 193. These loops, as you can see, they are at 175. So we could do a couple different things here, but what we're gonna do today is, is we're gonna use the warp. So we're gonna warp these here, right? And we're gonna see how this sounds with just, you know, four bar, 16, da 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 da. All right, it sounds pretty good. So let's, uh, let's put down a trigger right there and let's say 32 because, uh, yeah. And then let's see how this just sounds, right? We're gonna need to. All right, so that's perfect for me, right? Sounds really nice. Sounds quite nice, if I do say so myself. So we can see if we look at the audio file that it's starting over halfway through and now that it's started over halfway through, you know, that's a little bit more manageable for my purposes. I don't need a two bar loop. I just want a one bar loop here, right? So let's go and let's resample this. Let's turn it to 32 steps and let's set our source as track one. Actually, let's set our source as main left right and let's engage the compressor, all right? Let's let's just tune this, let's make this sound a little bit, you know, let's give it a little bit of oomph. All right, so I've given it a sufficient little amount of oomph, if I do say so myself. So, comp on. You know, just, it's just a little bit of flavor for us. I also gave it a little bit of overdrive there. And, uh, you know, hey, what the heck? Let's give it a little bit of uh, sample rate reduction here, too. Too much sample rate reduction. You know, we're just dirtying this up ever so slightly. You know, we're doing it for the dirt. So back to our recorder here. We got 32 steps. We're gonna sample it from the main left to right and we are going to turn the threshold to one. We'll hit yes and bada bing, bada boom. All right, so there is our sample. Cool, sounds great, sounds groovy, sounds just the way I want it to sound. So now we are going to call this A because we're gonna do this multiple times. So we'll call this A01, yes, and we are gonna put it on, well, let's just put it on five, right? And then we'll delete this, and we'll go back to our first track here, whoop, our first track here, and uh, let's go down to the second sample in our little collection of Think Breaks here, and... 
right? Okay, cool. So that is exactly the way we want that to sound as well. And let's just do this again. Yeah, and we'll put it on five, baby. Oh, yes, we will. So now let's mute everything and let's take a look here. So we've got AO1, BO2, CO3, and DO4. And now these are all 32 steps. They are all warped perfectly to our 193 BPM here. And so if we were to go in and then change this machine to the slice machine and set it, uh, you know, 16 steps here. And then maybe we go bam, 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 bam. And oopsie, I want to hit yes. And we'll go bam, 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 again. And then we will select linear locks, right? And now we've got perfect, good looking slices. So now that we've done this, we've done our linear locks and everything like that. Now we can go in here and we could maybe set uh, these two to CO3, right? And we could set these two to BO2 and maybe we could set these ones to, you know, that. And you can see we get something kind of a little bit more interesting there. So it's a lot of, uh, you know, different call outs and bada bing, bada boom. All right, now one more little trick for you here. You'll notice that I set the length on these to be longer, right? So now here's a trick that I love to do when I'm chopping up breaks. I'll take these two and let's just start with this one here, right? And I'll put this as the fill trig, right? And so now maybe we'll have this be just like a nice, so typically it would be this one, but maybe we'll have it be that one, right? And then we'll set uh, the retrig and it'll be like that. Oh, did I? Cool, all right. And then we'll copy this, put this right here, paste that right there. And then maybe we'll make it like, uh, you know, oh, maybe we'll change this up. All right, and you'll notice that when I hold the fill button, we'll get little stutters. but not when I don't hold the fill button, right? So we can use this kind of logic in a ton of different places here. I actually think that where I want these to be is right there. And maybe what I really want is for this trig to happen. Let's just see how this sounds, right? Okay, um, so I want this one to only happen if this one doesn't happen. Right, so that's what the pre, with the line over it. And I want this one, honestly, I want this one to happen only on the first of two rotations, but because this one's gonna happen and then we gotta make the length a little bit longer, right? And then, I don't know, let's change this to this other thing here too. So let's see how that sounds. Okay, so what I did there was, is I messed up, right? So I had a little bit of a brain fart, but what you can see we've now gone and done is, is played around with a couple of different things here. So I really like that two things that I'll show you very quickly here, is that you can change the slice amount which effectively changes how long of a slice is gonna play here. So I've got this set to uh, 
16 slices, right? But if any slice I want to really just kind of play longer, I can parameter lock, bam, down to eight. And then I can adjust that, right? Um, where that sample is in time. And another thing that I've gone in and done is create a couple different trig parameters and just being aware of, you know, this one's only got a one to two trig param and then, you know, this one's got a fill. So this one has got to play longer, right? So you can kind of start to set up really interesting chains of very fun stuff here. So let's just take a look at this one, right? So this is a nice long chain. Uh, it's playing quite a bit here, but I could go in and I could say this one, I want it to be 32 and, right? So I want that to happen, but let's take a look at the one in front of it is a fill. So I want this to happen also, if this is a fill, right? And then I can copy and I can put this here as well, paste, and then I can move it up a little one time. So let's see how that sounds. All right. That sounds okay, right? But I don't like that one there. And then uh, maybe what else I could do is, is this one is a no fill, right? This one is a fill. This one is also a fill. But what if on this one, I want this to be a fill, right? So then, oopsie. Then this one, I'm gonna need to play longer. So I'll pop it down to a lower slice grid. And maybe I'll even pop it down to a lower slice grid. And then I'll move this over in time here. So then it's, right? And then this one, I want it to be, uh, you know, this is our fill trick. I want it to be reverse here, right? So we're moving fast, we're being kind of wacky, but. Okay, so. So let's see what we got, right? All right, and then uh, just as a real quick last thing, this is our stuttery one, right? Yeah, so how about on this stuttery one, I want the, uh, I want the tune to go up, and I want that to happen by 16, and let's see here. That's too fast, the BPM multiplier. That's too slow. So let's pop it to, uh, let's say eight. That I'm into. So now we've got this absolutely wacky thing. It's double compressed. It's got all sorts of trig parameters. Let's actually, let's just, let's turn this down a little bit. And like that. Up this up. Now let's record it one more time, baby. But let's have it be, uh, this time let's have it be 64 steps so we can get one round no fills and then one round with fills, right? Record arm. And now we've got it. 
and then we can start this process all over again. And you know what? We're having fun. We're doing some resampling and uh, yeah, that is very fun on a bun type stuff if I do say so myself. And I did say so myself. And you know what? That's the video, folks. It's a quick little smattering of things. We're doing a little bit of resampling. We're doing a little bit of slicing. We're doing a little bit of trig parameter ringing, ing, ging, ging. And we are going to use these skills that I've shown in this video and the last resampling video to go even further in the next video. So stay tuned. If you like this stuff, I'd really appreciate it if you would, you know, maybe hit subscribe or leave a comment or I don't know, do whatever you want to do. I just don't care, but have fun doing it. And thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Maybe I'll show you something here. So here is a quick little pattern that I used all of the former techniques to be just absolutely wacky and wakey. And this is kind of what inspired me to make this video. So here we go. And that's what I got for you today. Have fun, make some music. We'll see you next time, okay?